In today's video, we're going to explore the top 10 Excel formulas that will completely change the way you work in Excel, whether you're a beginner or someone who's looking to sharpen your skills. This tutorial is going to make you an Excel pro in no time. Now let's dive in and start with the very first formula. The first formula is the sum function. This is one of the most common formulas you use in Excel. It simply adds up a range of numbers. Let me show you how. Select the range of numbers you want to add. Hit enter. You can also use the shortcut key. Next up, we have the sum if formula. This allows you to add up numbers based on a condition. So we will start with equal sum, open bracket. 100, comma, 200, and so on. Now that adds up to 1000. Count formula is super helpful when you need to count numbers in a range. Let's say you have a list of values to count how many entries you have. Simply use equal count, bracket, and close bracket. Excel will count the cells that contain numbers, excluding any blank or text cells. For example, I'm doing the text count. The value will display as zero. The count A function works similarly, but instead of just counting numbers, it counts all non-empty cells. So if you want to count both text and numbers in a range, use Equal count A, open bracket, close bracket. In this example, I will demonstrate how text and numbers um, are counted, except for the blanks, where it will not be counted at all. The count if function lets you count cells based on a condition much like the sum if function we saw earlier. For example, if you want to count how many times Coke appears in a list, you can use equal count if open bracket, B2, B11, that's the range. And the criteria is B14, Coke, and then close bracket. Next, we have the average formula, which calculates the average of a range of numbers. Just type equal average, open bracket, B2, B16, in close bracket, and the average is 24. If you're entering on the go, you just need to press equal average, for example, 100, 200, 300, 400 close bracket and the average is 250. Concatenate formula is perfect for combining text from multiple cells into one. Equal concatenate open bracket B3 C3 in close bracket. The thing is the texts are joined together, so I want to have a space between the first name and the surname. So what I do next is I will use equal, concatenate, open bracket, F3, comma, quote, space, quote, comma, G3, close bracket. It looks much better. Now let's dive into the Excel function called if. This one's super handy if you want to check something specific in your data and get a result based on whether it's true or false. You can think of it like saying, if this happens, then do that. Otherwise, do something else. 
All right. Um, so in this example, let's say we have a list of soft drinks, Coke, Sprite, Fanta, and so on. Imagine we're trying to see if each item is Coke or not. If it's Coke, we want Excel to say true, and if it's not, it should say false. First, in the cell next to the product name, we will type our formula. Here's what we will type. Equal if bracket B2 equal quote Coke comma true comma false close bracket so what's happening here b2 equal coke this is our condition we are asking excel to check if the value in the cell b2 is equal to coke true this is what we want Excel to show if the condition is true. So if B2 does indeed say Coke, Excel will display as true. False. This is what Excel will show if the condition is false, meaning if B2 is anything other than Coke. This time, let's mix things up a bit and make the if functions give us custom messages. So imagine you've got a list of soft drinks again. Coke, Sprite, Fanta, and so on. Let's say we want Excel to show a little message depending on whether the drinks is Coke or not. If it's Coke, tell Excel to say correct. If it's not, we have to say, you sure? This way, you get a bit more personality in the responses, which is great for user interaction or testing data. Type the formula, E2, equal coke this is our condition again we are asking excel to check if the cell e2 contains the word coke correct this is what we want excel to display if the condition is true meaning if e2 does contain coke You sure? This is our message with the condition is false. So if E2 says anything other than Coke, Excel will display you sure. Hit enter and you should see correct if the product is Coke or you sure if it's something else. Instead of just true or false, we are making Excel show meaningful text which can be really useful if it's reviewing data or building interactive spreadsheets.